Hi friends! The reworking of battery packs of old drill screwdrivers is quite relevant today. Many have the rather good screwdrivers with nickel-cadmium accumulators which became died long time ago, but the instrument is in working condition and it's a pity to throw it out. Once in the second-hand market I bought a screwdriver without a charger for about $5. It must work from 18 volt package of nickel-cadmium battery. You can see how it is working. As already said, it needed 18 volt, but I wanted to reduce the supply voltage to 12 volts because I don't have the right amount of batteries. The other reason is the charging and the protection board that recently came to me from China. It's designed for 12 volts. At the moment, I have at hand only old batteries. They were taken from laptops before all the batteries were tested and selected so that their capacity and internal resistance were approximately the same. Here I want to draw your attention to the important point. It is necessary to use high current batteries. Usual cans of the standard of 18650 from laptops are recommended to discharge by currents not exceeding own capacity of the battery. For example, a battery of 2000 mAh can be discharged with currents up to 2 amperes and up to 4 amperes for a short time. In China online shops, you can buy batteries that can be discharged by currents up to 30 and even 40 amperes. They are just the ideal option for such reworking. Links to those batteries can be found in the description. By the way, the drill screwdriver under maximum load can consume currents up to 40 amperes, so that not every battery can withstand, but we will use a protection board. My package consists of three assemblies connected in series. The nominal voltage is about 10.8 volts and 12.6 volts in a fully charged condition. Each assembly consists of two parallel connected cans. This is done to increase the overall capacity of the battery and hence the operating time of the screwdriver as well as increase the current output. Such battery package can be discharged for a short time by currents from 8 to 10 amperes although they are capable of giving more, but if it will consume more than 20 amperes, the protection will work. Let's begin remaking. The process of charging and discharging of lithium battery should be carefully monitored. For this purpose, we will use a charge board with protection. The upper limit of discharge current for this board is 20 amperes for three cans connected in series. Batteries to the board are connected as follows. If a load consumes more than 20 amperes, the protection will work. First, I wanted to reduce the protection current to 15 amperes for safe operation of the batteries, but I remembered about the ratchet. Here are 8 steps, and with such power, even at 7th step, the load isn't more than 12 amperes. In any case, the situation will be solved by the protection board. I also decided to add self-made battery discharge indicator that is turned on by the button. The link to the video about the indicator builds process you can find in the description. This is a simple circuit for a fairly accurate LED indicator based on the comparator. JLCPCB is a service where you can quickly and cheaply order any printed circuit boards according to your drawings. Free shipping for the first order. The prices of PCBs are starting from $2. You just need to download the Gerber file of your board and select the necessary settings. That's all. Printed circuit boards of the highest quality will be ready in the shortest possible time. A link to the JLCPCB website can be found in the description. Now we need to empty the old battery box. The nickel cadmium cans that was in the box was leaked. And this is dangerous as cadmium is toxic. So these batteries should be disposed in a special way and not thrown anywhere, especially if they are leaking. Contacts of lithium cans are preparing for welding. Then I cut off pieces of nickel tape and weld with self-made device for contact welding of batteries. Links to nickel tapes and the video in which I made the welding device will be in the description. It isn't desirable to solder accumulators of this type and welding is the most accepted way of connecting them. Now look at the process of assembling the battery without comments.
Now let's connect the battery for preliminary checking. Just now it became clear that the button of the screwdriver is broken, but at first I thought that the problem is in the reduced supply voltage and fed 18 volts from the laboratory power source. The problem was the same, so I will fix the button later. Then I took a convenient power socket through which the battery will be charged. How to charge a battery and how to assemble the charger as a whole, we will talk in the next video. It will be released within 10 days. But if you own a very cheap device and want to convert it to lithium, then it's not worth it. If all the components of remaking are new, even from China, anyway, the cost will be considerable. Taking into account high current batteries, the conversion of an 18 volt screwdriver will cost minimum of 30 to 40 dollars. It's close to the cost of a new screwdriver with lithium batteries, so I advise to remake only expensive instruments. Today that's all. The necessary information, including links to the purchase of the components and new budget screwdrivers will be found in the description. If the video was useful, don't forget to vote and share it with your friends in social networks, so you are providing a huge help to the channel. Goodbye! With you was Kassian TV.